All righty, I think we can get started. So, hey folks, I'm Malik, a software engineer here at Red Hat. Welcome to this workshop on designing your best architecture diagrams with Eric Shabel. So, before we get started on the workshop, Eric wanted to share like a couple of minute video which would set up the stage for his workshop. So, let's get right to it. And da, da, da. Alrighty. Hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is uh, Eric D. Chabelle, uh, and if you're in the right place, you're uh, getting ready to start a workshop around designing your best architectural diagrams. Um, before, before we get started, started I want to give you a little bit of an introduction to the workshop, workshop how slides work, and how it's set up. First, First thing, thing you'll notice here is in the bottom left of the slides. Uh, a sort of table of contents, a uh, menu that you can open. This works uh, no matter where you are in the workshop, so anytime you do that, you can also use the M key, which will bring it up and make it disappear, so from the menu. And you'll see here this table of contents will walk you through the, uh, the main chapters of the labs, the seven of them, creating the diagrams and working through this tool. Uh, a quick walkthrough, uh, some navigational tips, which I just explained. You have the beginner's guide, uh, an introduction that talks a little bit about what you're going to be doing. And then, and then you see we have lab one, two, three, and we're going to walk through creating, uh, first exploring the tooling, uh, looking at the asset, asset library, creating high level logical diagrams, exporting and importing diagrams, creating schematic diagrams, and then so on. Each one works the same way. So if there's ever any time, any questions, each one of the labs will end also with the ability to contact us uh, with anything you're interested in. And when, when you click, click on the, the very first lab to get started here, it's going to open a new tab, and you'll immediately jump into using the actual browser. So if you click on that, you can see it's going to open up the, the tooling. And one of the best tips to do is to right-click and do this in the incognito window, or I'm using the Chrome browser this time, but whatever browser you're using, that will prevent caching issues. Uh, it may, may or may not affect you. I tend to use that that way most of the time myself. Uh, you see, it opens right into the tooling and it'll get started. Uh, I want to share uh, the tooling with I've already completed the steps you're going to work through. You see, you're going to be creating a logical diagram, uh, a schematic diagram, and a detailed diagram. So, so all of this is going to be in the workshop. All of this stuff is going to be fun you're having while you uh, work your way through this. And I will, I will be, be online uh, to help you if you need it. So please uh, feel free to get started. Get started. And, and everything, everything is browser based, everything is ready to go. And I'm looking forward to your uh, designing the best architectural diagrams. So, all righty. So, Eric, do you want to take over? This is a self-paced workshop. Looks like Eric is having some connection issues, but he's in the chat to answer any questions that you have. Um, I pinned the workshop where you need to head to do your workshop, as well as the video, the intro video, if you missed that in the beginning. So good, and Eric and Malik will be around here to help you with anything else. Thank you. Thanks, Ovishi. All righty, so we can start wrapping this up. I hope you guys had a fun workshop. All the material would be live even after the workshop, so you can keep going through it and share it with people who think would benefit from this workshop. So up next is a workshop on Istio Service Mesh. It's a getting started beginner level workshop. So I think it's going to be interesting. And it's at 3.30 PM. So see you all guys there. Hi, folks. Also, thanks, Eric, for putting this together. It was really a great workshop.